I, I, whenever I hear, Dad used to make this statement for years. Say when certain phrases and things come through prophecy and through words, he could almost hear the spiritual rebuttal that would happen. And I could almost palate it when it was, you need to lay down your life. And the thought and the impression that came to me at that moment wasn't about this huge sacrifice. It wasn't about this. I have to lay down my wants and my desires and all of this. No, it's not what I, what I, what I felt. It's about laying down our agenda. It's about laying down our idiosyncrasies and our little bits of our character that we think we have the justification to stand on when really truly it's being who he called us to be first and foremost. We can all justify our ways. You know, David brought it through prophecy, my ways are greater than your ways, but each of us attempt to justify our ways. We adjust it, uh, justify it because of our iniquities. We justify it because of our heritage. We justify it because of our upbringing. We, we do all of these things and we, we say, well, it's because of that. No, it's not what we should be doing. We all do this little grumble, this little fight when it says, no, I want you to lay down your life. It's not about all about dying. But it's picking up his mantle, his his call on our life greater than what we even want for ourselves. Not in a martyr sense, but say, you know what, Father, you're right. I had all my plans of what I wanted to do growing up. Being a pastor was not one of them. Definitely not being a principal of a school. But at some point, each of us have to lay down what we perceived and what we thought was our what was supposed to be our life or how we think or how we speak or how we act for something greater, him. So when I hear you need to lay down your life, I, 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 I finally get it. There's this little almost like, you mean, tell me, you got to, I mean, that, you're just going to be a slave to God. I don't have a problem with that. Knowing how loving and how awesome and how caring he has been and is and will be, I don't have a problem with that. But that's the journey we now have to make when we, when we hear, lay down your life. Because that means I'm laying down my life in service to something greater than me, to him, at whatever that may look like. We may have to change what we thought was our future plans, what we want to do, how we want to do it, and what it might have looked like, because he may have something greater in store for us. But that means we have to humble ourselves and actually sit back and get out of pride and arrogance and say, you know what, Father, you're right. Your ways are higher than mine. What you think, how you speak, how you feel, I don't know if feel is the right word, is greater than anything I can think of for myself. There's that moment of sitting back going, you know what? Just because I have the right to argue, I don't know if I should because there's a greater purpose. Just because I have the voice to speak in certain circumstances doesn't mean I should because I have a greater purpose. And so for my journey in this is I, I have to remember that no matter what I pictured or what I still picture, I have to lay it down for what he wants more greater than what I want. And not from a, oh, I can't believe I got to do this, but from an excitement going, you know what? If he's the creator, not if as in like questioning, but if he's the creator, since he's the creator, then he's got to have a better idea what's best for me than I do. He's not going to leave me astray. He's not going to leave me some weird down this world will path that he's not going to prepare me for. So that means I got to lay that down for anything I want because I know what he has for me is 10 times greater than what I can ever create on my own two hands for myself. 
I, I, and I felt that kind of here and I just, you know, there's a point that we just, I said this to you the other day, there, there's a point that we honestly look at God and instead of saying, yeah, but, and argue, we honestly go, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not trying to argue it, not trying to find our little manipulation of it or, well, God, if I, but what about, no, it's yes, sir. And that's the end of it. 